Hey, what's up guys? What's up YouTube? My name is Matt Samolski. I'm Matt the Car Guy on this channel. I do car reviews and today I have this beautiful 2021 Mercedes-Benz A35 AMG. This video wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the good people over at Mercedes-Benz of Bonita Springs for letting me film one of their cars. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on the tour of this vehicle. We're going to check out the exterior, the interior. I'm going to jump inside and play with some of the cool and interesting feature. Very important, we're going to look underneath the hood and see what powers up this AMG machine. And then finally, I'm going to take you for a spin in it. So if you're ready, let's go. Okay, guys, before we dive into this particular vehicle, let's talk about a little bit about the AMG, because you might be wondering, well, first of all, what does it stand for and what is AMG? I mean, you've seen some of the cars on the street and they have the AMG logos on it. Basically what it is, it's a performance division of Mercedes-Benz and it's owned by Mercedes-Benz. Now, it wasn't always like this and uh, it was a separately owned entity. And AMG basically, is the names of the two engineers and the town where they started this. So Alfrecht, Melcher and Grossespath is the town where they actually started it. And I'm probably mispronouncing it, so I apologize if you're German and you know how to pronounce it better, you know, be my guest. But that's basically what it is. So Alfrecht went to Melcher and he goes, hey, you want to start your own company? And Melcher goes like, yeah, natürlich. So what they did, they started and this is been one of the most recognizable performance brands of any company. So if you know AMG, this is what they do. They take the regular cars, they make it faster, they make it better looking, and they make it in a very specific way. So when they first started the AMG, the one engineer, one technician was in charge of putting the engine together from the very beginning to the very end. Right, so those are the true AMG, hand-built AMG motors. Then they started doing the AMG enhanced motors, just like this one right here. The A35 is not a hand-built engine, but it is AMG enhanced. It's a, we're going to talk about the performance and the specifications of this engine in just a little bit, and let's dive right into it. Okay, so we're going to start right up in front of this vehicle. So as you can see, there's nothing crazy as far as the hood. I mean, it does have the two lines, one on each side, but there's no bulges. There's no big area intakes, anything like this on top of this hood. Mercedes start right here as well as in the middle of this grill. Now, that's where a lot of the sensing technology hides behind this Mercedes star. So that's why it's big. It has this matte black grill with the uh, polished aluminum trim right here. The color of this vehicle is called denim blue. It's one of the newer colors for Mercedes-Benz. And if you look at the lights, I mean, it has the single eyebrow right here, which is LED. It's a turn signal. This one has the LED high performance lights on it. It is not the turn light, so it's not the active lighting system on this particular one. And at the bottom of it, you see a little bit more aggressive front styling than the regular A. 
220. And because of the night package, everything that would normally be chrome is actually blacked out. So there's a little bit of a glossy black trim at the bottom of that lip spoiler. There's a little bit of a glossy black trim right here. By the way, this is not the real intake. There's only one spot where this air can go through and it's right on the side of it and it actually comes out right in here. So that's basically for aerodynamics, it increases the performance of this vehicle just a little bit. The biggest difference between this and the regular A220 is actually underneath the hood. So let's check this out. So under this hood hides a 2.0 liter engine, turbocharged engine, and that produces 302 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque made it to a seven speed automatic transmission and it's actually capable of sending this car zero to 60 in nearly 4.3 seconds so it's a very quick vehicle for its segment now the real amg like the one that's hand assembled would have a badge on it would have like a tag on it with the name of the technician who actually assembled it they're so proud that they actually put their name on it this one is an amg enhanced engine which means that it has been produced in the factory but it has been tuned by the amg so that's the difference between this and what some people would refer to as a real amg so the side view of this vehicle is just the same as the regular A220. There's only really a couple differences that you can spot right on the outside. One of them, it says it's a turbo formatic. I don't think it has that badge on the uh, regular A220. I don't remember it. But also the other thing is those big AMG brakes. Now they're big brakes because the car is faster at moving faster. At Hello. Hey guys, it's not funny. Why'd you lock me up here? Well, somebody said that there is enough room for two bodies in here. And I gotta tell you, one big body, that's all that there's gonna fit in here. But, check it out yourself. As far as the trunk space, as you could see, I could fit in here. But the nice part about it is, in case you do get stuck underneath here, let's check this out. See this little button right here this what's gonna unlock the trunk in case your friends are gonna try to play a prank on you or maybe something worse maybe somebody's really gonna lock you inside the car you can actually open it from the inside so what else do we have here we have this uh, spare tire kit there's no spare tire it's just basically a fill it flat and yeah the room is okay but it's also a compact vehicle you can fold the seats down okay there's levers on each side and it's basically a uh, 40 20 40 split so you can split either both of these one in the middle pass through or you can put them all down and have this maximum cargo capacity in here the only other thing is here is the trunk unfortunately but you have to close it manually kidding guys this is a very light trunk so no issues at all well let's check out the roominess inside the back seat and uh i gotta tell you i mean it's a little tight but it's also the class of this vehicle i'm six feet tall um, i have enough headroom there's probably about another inch and a half above my head and this one has the panoramic sunroof so uh, that takes up a little bit of space so headroom perfectly fine as far as the knee room i have this seat in front adjusted to my regular driving position so if i was any taller it would be pretty tough to get in but as it is right now i still have a little bit of room but i actually love the design of this car this two-tone design all right guys let's check this out this two-tone design this black and white design actually it works for this particular car makes a difference makes it sporty makes it unique okay just like the amg should be so you have a little bit of this white mb tags and the black soft plastic right here the polished aluminum trim around here and then you have your window controls and the locks that's it as far as the seating surfaces you can see they're also black and white and kind of complements the look of this vehicle and what else you have you have a little bit of air vents right here as well as the usb charge and then a little bit of nets in the back of the seat that is the back seat let's see where the magic happens well, let's check this out guys let's hear how the door sounds when you close it nice and solid thump right here 
door again same trim as in the back black and white you have a little bit of this aluminum trim right here and also this one has the memory seats and the seat controls just like pretty much all of the mercedes-benz are on the door now this one has the heated seats but no not ventilated seats if it had the ventilated options would be right there and then you have the window controls you have the mirror controls and then you have the trunk opener right here what also tells you that this is an amg is right on the door sill right here you have the amg logo and the seats just like in the back now these are sporty seats but they're not overly aggressive and what's well, guys let's check out the interior of this <laughs> a35 i gotta tell you it's a pretty cool looking interior but one thing that really jumps out is how far back this seat goes see i'm six feet tall and i have the seat all the way back and i can barely touch the pedal so if somebody is really tall they would be able to actually fit in this vehicle and be comfortable but let's take a look at some of the features on the interior first of all amg steering wheel flat bottom nicely wrapped in leather multifunction steering wheel what's nice about it too you have this nice quality pedal shifters down and up on both sides and then the rest of the steering wheel is basically the same as on some of the other mercedes bands that we've seen before the one feature that you can get on this one is the dynamic select shifter right on the steering wheel versus the one that we have which is right there it's not a big deal but because it is getting really hot in here let's start it and let's see what happens i love when mercedes does those animations with the picture of the car with the lights on so we got this started let's take a look at the steering wheel left hand side of the steering wheel controls the left portion of that mbux which is two screens and those are 10.25 inch screens they're a little bit smaller than on the bigger mercedes benzes but also the car is smaller itself so this side's going to control what's going on right in here and this side is going to control what's going on in the main screen all right so let's take a look at the screen first and you have a bunch of different options that you can set up in here first of all like I said, you can troll it through this little trackpad right here. You can also hit home and that basically is going to open up the main menu. And then you have the phone navigation performance trip designs and displays. This is where you actually change that displays. You can have the classic, which is the main display right here. This is how it looks. And then you can change that to full screen display. This is the understated display basically. And it does have AMG log at the bottom, so you know you're in the AMG car. Okay, but let's go back in here. And again, let's go back to the uh, designs and display because you can change the different, you can have a super sport display, which is this one right here, kind of like in a, a race car. You have a full screen display, you have the miles per hour, you have the speedometer on the left hand side, tachometer on the right hand side, and then basically display the full screen inside of here. Wow, you can do it full screen as well. This is pretty cool. You can control tons of different features and set it up. It's, it's probably one of the most customizable infotainment system out of any cars. It's certainly one of my favorite ones. Mercedes did a tremendous job. By the way, MBUX basically stands for Mercedes-Benz User Experience. And that's what it's all about. They want to make sure that people get what they want, especially when buying into the brand, so they can customize it to their particular liking. All right, so let's take a look at your main screen right here. So the main screen, we're not going to go through all the features of it, but let's go through the some of the features that are available. So phone, navigation, radio, media, comfort performance mercedes me and apps and settings and let's just take a quick peek in the performance here so you can see the vehicle and basically that just gives you like the g-force gives you the different features of here you can make it full screen if you'd like to but anyways at the top of it you have the engine so you can actually see the performance of the engine the torque and the horsepower the temperature of the colon the temperature of the transmission so pretty cool features for some of you that like to drive the car a little bit uh, harder 
consumption dynamic select that's basically let you customize your individual configuration for your drive mode um, there's several of them that are pre-selected comfort that's basically it's going to give you the ability to change like the ambient lighting and the seat comfort seat kinetics and you can't see the ambient lighting it is on right now you might be able to see it a little bit right on those vans kind of that uh, blue one that also means that the vehicle is cooling see now i'm turning the temperature up and as you can see this one turns into red that basically means that it is heating up right now and now it's back to blue so that's another way of knowing whether the vehicle is heating or not now the seats were on the seat kinetics were on i'm going to turn that off boom and we're going to go back to the main screen see what else is here so media um, you can actually connect your phone with apple carplay or android auto if you'd like to radio am fm navigation this one is equipped with multimedia but like i said if you didn't have that it would actually have a apple carplay android auto on here go back to the home screen you can that's where you connect your phone and right here where you create your profile so if there's multiple drivers you can create profiles so you don't have to kind of look for those settings every time you get in the vehicle it's going to be saved under your profile and home so the way you control this a you can control it through this trackpad right here trackpad at the bottom right here and then it's also touchscreen which is very smart out of mercedes-benz that they m have you do it the se several different ways because if you've seen my review of the new acura mdx beautiful car really nice but the only way you can control it is through this kind of awkward trackpad that they have now this is much nicer in my opinion but let's continue let's see there's some shortcuts for your heating and ventilating system now you have your usb-c you have your regular charger right here cup holders this is nice in case you have the smaller cups you can actually raise those up and what do we have here this is your trackpad your main trackpad this is your palm rest by the way this is very comfortable and here are some shortcuts that are available for you so you have first of all you have the dynamic select and basically what that means let's take a look is that you have driving modes that are pre-programmed so slippery is the new driving mode for this year's a335 then you have the individual which you can adjust in uh, the settings which i showed you before and then you have the comfort mode sport and sport plus and sport plus basically has the dynamic engine dynamic gear shifter and advanced amg uh, performance so that actually uh, you could probably hear maybe not but the exhaust got louder as soon as we put it in the sport plus mode so that's where i'm going to check out while driving is the sport and sport plus i think those most responsive especially in the amg vehicles here you have your uh, power and volume for your radio for you have the navigation and map okay turns that on right away telephone radio and media and then you have your manual settings for the transmission right so you can set it up as far as you know when you hit the manual you're going to be able to actually use the pedal shifters right here and then you can turn off your traction control at the bottom here and a little bit more storage not a huge storage but you know a little bit more storage in here as far as the design of this vehicle check this out it's really nice it's really sleek but it's also sporty it's cool looking now what i always say is that a lot of manufacturers are trying to lure you into buying one of their higher end models by actually designing the lower end models to be the coolest the best quality and stuff like this and certainly it feels the case with this one too they didn't skimp up on anything as far as quality of this vehicle versus the newer ones now i haven't driven it yet so we're about to do that before we do that let's check out a couple more features now you have your panoramic roof that opens up we're going to close that so it's too much light in here and then a couple more buttons right on top that's basically for your light controls and then it uh, mercedes me and the help button and then you have your led lights that can be turned on right here look how bright they are that's pretty cool 
I'm ready to take it for a spin. I hope you are too, so let's go. Okay, so I'm ready to take this for a spin, but before we do that, um, let's take a quick look and let's see of how it's priced. So first of all, the regular A-Class, the A220, uh, with the front wheel drive, it's at uh, 33,650. That's where it starts at. This one starts at about 46,000, 45,850 prior to the destination charge. So, I mean, it is about $13,000 more, but it comes standard equipped with a lot more features. And you can actually check that out yourself on the Mercedes-Benz website and see what's standard on this one and optional on the A220. Obviously, the biggest difference is the engine, which, you know, is also a two liter engine, but it's over 100 horsepower more. So the driving dynamics is going to be different. It's got an AMG tuned suspension. It's got the bigger brakes. It's got the more powerful engine. So it's going to be really, really cool to drive. I hope so. And this particular one, as it sits, is at 51 800 so it's not a super equipped vehicle it does have a lot of cool features and that's pretty much would be enough for me the one thing i would probably change it i'd like to have this little selector of the gears on the steering wheel i think it's about 500 dollars option so it's not crazy but before we take this on the road let's check out two things in here let's check out the rear view camera and does it have a 360? It doesn't have a 360, but it has two different modes. It has the narrow mode and it has the wide mode. Um, and it does have the trajectory lines that move with the steering wheel. And I gotta tell you, I mean, it's one of the cleanest cameras that I have seen. And that's on the Mercedes-Benz. The one thing that I would like to have, and this one doesn't have it, is for it to take up the entire real estate of this i'm not sure why manufacturers do that they, they select this area of the screen and they project it right here now i get it that some of it might be blocked by the steering wheel but i mean we still have this side right here and up and down so that would be nice to have let's see how tight it is as far as the turning radius now i don't have the ability to have enough spots right in the parking but i can tell you i can see the cars in front you know i can see how many parking spaces it's going to take so we have one two three four again one two three four four parking spaces to turn this vehicle around it's very nice and it's very tight as far as the turning radius now what i'm going to do is we'll take it on the road and then see how it drives i can hardly tell you going slowly over these bumps that it does have a pretty stiff suspension well, all right guys so i'm about to take this for a spin take it on the road let's see how the acceleration is and i'm gonna take you on the ride with me and We'll see what this little baby bands with the AMG badge can do. Let's go. Wow, that can definitely move. I don't even know if I'm in Sports Plus or not. Let's check this out. I was in the regular sport mode. So we're gonna have to repeat it, sorry. But we'll check that out, turn it around. I like the overall feel of it. It is definitely, it is a compact sedan and for the price of it, there's really not too many cars that can perform quite like this one i mean of course i mean it's the same category like some of the subaru's the wrx is the same category as the honda civic type r with um, you know over 300 horsepower but quite frankly you know if you're spending 40 grand on the honda and this is 46 eh, that'd be a tough choice well not really but if it's got the star it drives a little bit better that's at least in my opinion 
guys, we're gonna find the place to turn it. Let's see if we can repeat that, but overall the feel of the car, it's a typical Benz, it feels very solid, it feels like it holds you in place. You're not all over the place. The seats are comfortable. They're not overly aggressive. The bolsters are not cutting into my sides, which is a really good thing, especially for somebody that's not the thinnest person out there, but uh, it's uh, definitely a comfortable car. And, and as I said before, there's tons of legroom. So if you're tall and if you're looking for a car like this, you can definitely fit in. Plenty of headroom, plenty of shoulder room and performance is great let's see if i switch it to sport plus and we're gonna go actually in the manual mode see how those pedal shifters work well it's not gonna be a true zero to 60 but uh that this exhaust makes and it's not even that fully sport tuned exhaust we're not going to go any further faster because of the speed limit here but uh, i'll give this vehicle a big thumbs up love the features love the performance of it there's really not too many things to complain about i mean if i really wanted to complain about something as the size of that camera screen could be a little bit bigger Again, it's 10.25 versus 12.3 inch screen and some of the other ones, but not bad at all. If you're looking for a car like this, again, a big shout out to Mercedes-Benz of Bonita Springs. Give those guys a call. I'm going to post a link in the description of this video. And uh, if you have any questions, give them a call, check them out, and I will see you in my next video. Cheers.